As you already know, we have the unboxing of Blue Reactor Microphone. Ever since I saw this, I was like, damn, this thing looks very retro, has a very modern vibe to it, and we know that um, it is very high-end as it is from Blue. It uses uh, components from the Kiwi and also the uh, Baby Blue Baby Bottle by Blue. I <laughs> got that mixed up. And so um, I ordered from Musician's Friend at a great deal. It was on sale. Ah. And I definitely need to get a knife. Scissors, they don't come in handy at times. And so um, this arrived within two days. I ordered it on a Wednesday. To the, to, well, it arrived Friday. It's actually uh, morning right now, 1.15 a.m. But it was very fast delivery. So... Sorry, I'm recording with my video, with my uh, cell phone camera. But once we take this out, we can see we got this cool freaking box. Looks like something you would get when you're a CIA agent and you need to blow some shit up. Oh, okay. So let's look around this box. Here's the front. Definitely looks like something off of Hellboy. Remind me of the whole steampunk style. Multi-pattern condenser, mid-side, XY compatible, so it has three different um, uh, patterns right here. Uh, I had the Blue Yeti Pro before, had four patterns. Uh, I'd like to see how high quality this one is though. And you can see um, the microphone is able to swivel 90 degrees. Uh, it comes with a shock mount and pop filter. I've read that the shock mount is a bit... Um, more on the lower end side, and that the pop filter actually is a bit childish, so we'll see about that. Here are your patterns, cardioid, omnidirectional, uh, bidirectional, so, you know, I'm not too clear on the patterns. I know that cardioid is best for um, my type of recording, recording music, but not professionally. This is the other side, so... Here's the top side. They don't have much going on on the sides, only the front and back. Not even the front. It just looks sick in the front. So let's see, where will we open up the side? Ah, they don't have a tape, so that's not a hassle. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. You see that? Type. Uh, this is plastic. It'd be cool if it was metal, but definitely that would be too heavy to be portable. Uh, it sort of feels like this box already, it's, it feels like a uh, poker box chipset. Look at this. It's like something you'd see off the cartoon on you know, the Jimmy Neutron show. So this is the box. Um, what are these? I believe these are just the hinges. Here's the side, and definitely, of course, you don't want to see the sides. They don't have a lock on this locking mechanism, but that's fine. Alright, let's check this baby out. Take a take a sniff with me. <laughs> you lick it with me. Ooh, it's cold. This part is, uh... Is it metal? It's like cheap metal. You can see the box over here. It's not completely solid because it doesn't fit together, but... It's still cool. Oh, jizz, jizz, jizz. This is a dime piece. Uh, let's look at the shock mount first. Definitely looks like something you'd find around the nucleus, the uh, electron cloud. So you'd put the, uh, put uh, put this on the mic stand, and then you can, you know, you have the uh, lock over here, so you can put this horizontal horizontally then let's see um this part this part is bottom this part is top you put a microphone through there so let's set that aside uh here's the pop filter it's a bit small but really you don't need a big one at all and i i like this because it really conserves space and um let's talk about the feel it it's definitely not glossed it's not completely smooth you get a bit of grip from the material Mm. Um, actually a metal liquor. <laughs> just kidding. This thing's magnetic. That's pretty cool. And it's not like super strong magnets. It's like just right. So it has a nice feel. And this part, don't know what that's for. Um, of course you can 
wow, you can slide it around. Very cool, very intuitive, and I like the logo. They need to have more of a symbol though. Uh, here is the manual. Definitely they talk about user agreement, uh, licensing, if they license. Uh, let's have a couple languages in there, and this is the dime piece. Um, just just uh, holding it, it's compared to some blue products. So, you know, like I said, I have the Yeti Pro. This is, I say, a bit heavier. And I'm talking about the Yeti Pro with its stance. So that says something. Um, either the build or just the interior of this. Uh, but comparing to other microphones, other condensers, you know, this is definitely on the heavier side. Wow, look at this. Very beautiful. So this is where you would uh, move the pattern. It's sort of like a magnifying glass. Definitely reminds me of that steampunk style. And how do, how do we move this? Yeah, just move it around. And uh, it requires just a bit of finger strength, so it shows it's not some cheap material being used. Um, this red over here, it's like a glossy type of metal. Oh, here's the swivel. Let's move that around. Pretty cool. Uh, the thing I read online was that they don't really tell you which way is the front. Now, I guess you wouldn't really need a front if you're uh, using omnidirectional or bidirectional. And of course, there's the same type of metal with these other two components. And here's the capsule. You can sort of see on the inside. Is that blue thing? Here's the other side. So this is the unboxing of the blue reactor a very cool piece of equipment we can see what it say over here reactor uh s i o three one six five that's just the uh serial if you if you're gonna buy this you're gonna be in for a treat now i'm just gonna check this out and see how it is and don't forget here's the fruit snack but please don't eat this it's just a figure of language, language figure, figuratively. <laughs> so that's it. Enjoy.